All right, YouTubes, how are you doing? Um, this part I'm doing now in this video isn't part of this video. I've, I've edited this in because my videos are about, they're probably about two weeks when I post them, they're probably from about two weeks ago. Um, but this is for today, the day the video is going up. I'm gonna, this is at the beginning. I know I'm rambling, but I've, I've just put it in there because I just want to say a massive thanks for for everybody helping me reach a thousand subscribers. I'm um, I'm overwhelmed by it all, to be honest with you. I never ever thought I'd, I'd even get that amount. I, you know, um, I I never thought it. I, don't, I honestly didn't think it, I would I would get anywhere there near that number. I, to be honest with you, I didn't have any expectations when I was doing it. I just decided to do it. I, it was something I wanted to do for a long time. And um, I just bit the bullet, bought a GoPro, just started filming what I do. And um, it's been a massive learning curve, I'm learning all the time. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, no matter how long it takes me and how much time it consumes me doing it. It means a lot to me now, what I'm doing with, with the channel. and. Um, constantly trying to think of ways to improve it and make content better for everyone for you guys to, to you know so, so you can in, enjoy it i enjoy watching this type of you know this this type of job on youtube i don't watch tv i always watch stuff on youtube and loads of other um channels as well you know not just car body repairs but car related a lot of them um, so yeah, I just wanted to say a massive thanks for, for everyone subscribing and, and getting me to a thousand subscribers. I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon with it all, really am. No matter how tired I am, I'm, I'm over the moon with it. Um, so yeah, just, just thank you. Thanks for everyone subscribing. And um, I'm not going to waffle on anymore. There's another intro to this video now. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the next video and um, we'll see you all again in the next one. Thanks a lot. All right, YouTubes. How are you doing? Hope you're all well. Uh, this video is just going to be a painting video in this one. So I'll show you what the car is. It's a little Vauxhall Adam. It's a Vauxhall Adam S actually, which I never really knew they'd done that type of model on this car. Um, so it's their sort of sporty VXR version, I suppose. It's quite a cool little car actually. You get little buck Recaro bucket seats in it and um and um yeah and it's got <clears throat> it's got a factory fitted body kit as well which has become a bit of a pain for us. So what we're doing on this car is uh it's a new bumper. So the bumpers are like a standard Fox Adam bumper and we've done a repair on this quarter panel as well. Um but they come this standard Vauxhall Adam bumper, but this model has a like a rear skirt, so a rear a rear skirt and a rear diffuser, which is two piece, and they're bonded on. Um, but we just can't get hold of it. It's been on back order now for about six weeks. The 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 diffuser part, the rear skirt part, has been on back order now for about six weeks with Vauxhall. Um, so they they want this car repaired because we've done a temporary repair on it. We just uh, drill some holes in the bumper because all the bumper got ripped off and um, sort of just tied it up for her. all the brackets were broken so so yeah we've done temporary repair but we said look we'll just get this job we'll get the bumper and the repair done get it all painted and fitted on and then when the when the rear diffuser comes um, we'll just have to fit that separately now uh, which is a bit of a pain makes the job a bit more long-winded and they're bonded on as well so yeah, that's what we've got to do to it. So I'm just going to do the paint for now on this. And then, um, yeah, so we're painting the rear bumper, rear quarter panel, blending within that panel, and the mirror caps, which are a different color. So I'll be doing those, those parts. Um, this car is multicolored everywhere. It was hard really on the color what to do. Um, this side's been but that whole car's up paint everywhere all at various stages and there's all slight variations in shades across all the panels so it's a bit of a tricky one sometimes with a camera um do you match the panel that you're going to be blending on or do you match something that, that may be edge to edge like this bumper is going to be edge to edge 
Um, I've got enough room in this quarter, but I've got enough room in this quarter to blend. But there's a variation here. Um, there's a variation on that quarter to the boot. The boot's been painted at a separate time. So I've all I've ma tried to match to is the quarter panel on the other side, because that's going to be the biggest area, edge to edge, which sort of, it goes against... You want the colour really to be better on this panel so your blending's a bit easier. So it's a tricky one sometimes. What 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 is the right way to do it? But I think the most visually is gonna be that area on the bumper. So that's what I've matched the paint to. And I'll just have to do the best I can to blend it within this panel. Because this quarter panel on this side is is a different colour to that quarter panel on the other side. But decisions eh, that we have to make in this job um so yeah that's what it's going to be so i'm going to get all the get all the paints mixed up i've got to do red for the mirrors so that they need what a bit of white on them first so i'll give them a couple of coats of um uh just just like a smooth white aerosol that i've got that'd be fine for that and then gun wise i'm going to be using so I may have mentioned in previous videos. So I've changed the setup on my on my base coat gun. So I've got a SATA Jet five, X5500 and it had a 1.3i on it. But I've now changed the, the setup to a 1.2i and it's such a big difference the way the way base coat goes on. Well with with what I'm using here, MEPA, MEPA water. It's, it's honestly, I can't believe the, the difference it's made and the way the base coat goes on and the way it lays down and the way it blends as well. Um, they do recommend a 1.2 on a SATA, but um, I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it's, it's made hell of a difference. Well, to me it has. Some people it might not notice, but... Um, so yeah, so that's what I'll be using for the base coat is uh, my X5500 with a 1.2i setup and then the clear coat would be my new CC gun again. So yeah, a few jobs in with this gun now and um, I'm loving it, I've, it's great. I've re I really am loving it. Um, I still will use the other one. I will use my other f X5500 with a 1.20 on that. That's like a traditional SATA setup. I will be using that on jobs as well, but it's good to have, I've got a variation for the type of finish that I'm trying to achieve. And uh, the clear coat I'll be using is uh, MEPA CX4 on this, which is a quick dry technology clear. And it's lovely clear. So that's it. Now I'm gonna get all the paints mixed up and, uh, and I'll get in the booth and start painting it.
just made that with that clear coat just enough how's that here it's not often i get it exactly right it's nice to get it right it's crap to get it under and you've got to mix more than you waste more and then obviously having too much is a pain as well but there we go i'll start job clear coating now and i'll go back in a minute and have a look at it